Uh, it was a frustrating day. It was a frustrating day. Um, all the way around, you know. Great opportunity and didn't make the plays we needed to uh, to go win. Defense played a heck of a game. Uh, really dominated and it's fun to watch them play, but um, you know we didn't make enough enough plays to uh, to win it. You know this hurts hurts bad. Um, didn't think we'd be having this conversation right now. You know, not my vision for the game um, at all. But we had an opportunity there at the end, and there's no doubt in my mind we're going to go down and and get points. On the last pick, Ryan. What happened on the last pick? Yeah, we were trying to uh, to get a shot over the top. They ended up rolling to uh, to a form of cover three zone. Um, corners high on top of Nick. He held the inside back with my eyes and um, you know tried to uh, try to get him in there as he came back to the quarterback uh, just to get us uh, get us across the fifty there. We had two timeouts and would have had a couple shots to get into field goal range um, to to kick the the game winner. Well, back off after the season, you had the expectations maybe coming in the playoffs to. To have an end like this. Oh, it's brutal. I mean, no one in the locker room thought thought we'd be where we're at right now. Um, you know, a lot of confidence going to this game. A lot of confidence even throughout the game. Things were going our way, but we were battling and finding ways to make plays and and wanted to put ourselves in position to to win it in the fourth. And we had an opportunity to. We just didn't make those plays. Consecutive years of the home playoff loss. Where your play didn't really match the regular season uh, play, do you have any kind of initial feel for, for why that is? Oh, I felt great coming in today. You know, I thought we had opportunities. Thought we made some plays. Um, you know, some some good plays made by by the other side uh, in situations where, uh, where we've had opportunities in the past, and um, you know, didn't turn out our way. How much pick, Ryan? Uh, anything in particular happened on that? Was it a miscommunication, or how did that, that work in there? No, safety made a made a heck of a play. You know, we were, uh, got Julio switch release there, going going vertical, a lot of space in there. Um, he squatted on it, and uh, you know didn't didn't feel like there was a threat right there to go over the top, so he squatted on it and and uh, and drove on it. You know, usually the uh, safety's not not in that position um, against that. That coverage against that play, but um, at the tip your hat to him, he uh, he made a heck of a play. Yeah, I mean, they they came off the slot there uh, inside zone, so uh, nickel pressure answers to throw the bubble and um, guy uh, Bates was closing in on Chester pretty quick on the outside, so I was going to have to uh, kind of drive it on Chester and, and the nickel made a heck of a play. Third down, Ryan, the, the two short yardage stops in the first one, was that a, a, an option play where you could have given that to Derek? Is that right on third and one? Yeah, it was a read there. Um, guy played a tight uh, tight technique. Um, thought we were uh, going to have a good opportunity there, and um, you know, kind of came off and, and then hesitated. You know, wasn't able to uh, to make a miss and get the first down. Everybody, uh, follow, everybody following the loss kind of critiques themselves. How tough will it be, I guess, for you for the season to end like this? And, and what are what are off seasons like following games where you don't get it done? No, this is brutal. You know, uh, it's going to hurt for a long time. It's going to be on my mind for a long time. It's going to take a a long time to get over. Um, yeah, you don't look forward to this this situation. You don't look forward to uh, to being out when you had a great opportunity and. Uh, you know, this is one of those things only time will heal. How did Derek look to you from your perspective, Pat? Do what? Derek, how did he look and, and what was it like having him back in the huddle? Uh, I mean, it's tough to kind of see from, from where I'm sitting. A lot of times I'm carrying out a fake or uh, just turning my head around. But uh, he came in, had some, some good hard runs, uh, was able to, uh, to get downhill a little bit and, um, and run physical. So, you know, I thought, um, I did a good job just from, from my perspective. It's just tough to really say, but uh, good to have him back out there, obviously. Um, love having him on the field with us. What needs last to be different? Ryan, last drive, Ryan. A lot of time ran off there, about two minutes or so, with the plan to allow that much time to relapse and uh, kick field goal, whatever, at the end, rather than you know, use time on third. 
yeah, I think that was our plan to, uh, to try to bleed it as we as we got down and um, you know kick the game winner as as time expired and not give uh, you know the other side an opportunity. Um, and what happened happened. What needs to happen for you to take this team to the Super Bowl? Oh, we got to win. We got to win in these these critical playoff games. You know we uh, you know overcame a lot to to be here, but at the end of the day, you know we have to play really good and and make the plays necessary to win the games in January. Ryan, would you look at this entire season and say that your performance fell off this season from the past two? Just your individual performance? I uh, mean, you know, we'll go back and, and look at everything. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of things where, where I think I can grow from, I learned from um, throughout, throughout this year that happened. Um, felt like we overcame a lot, but, um, you know, when, when you go home in this, this sort of fashion, uh, leaves a lot to be desired.